It has been a tumultuous third day of jury selection in Donald Trump's hush money criminal trial. The day began with seven seated jurors, but now there are just five. Two jurors were dismissed after being seated and sworn in. The first, a nurse from Manhattan who said that she uh, feared she could not be impartial or fair, could not keep the outside influences uh, out of her judgment of the case uh, after people started reaching out and asking if she was on the jury. Uh, she was concerned about identifying information about her uh, making its way to the media and uh, being able to identify her. Jurors in this case are uh, anonymous for the most part. Uh, the parties have the names, uh, Donald Trump has the names, but the rest of the world does not know who these people are. Then, later in the day, a second juror was dismissed. This man, an IT professional, uh, had said during questioning that he found Donald Trump uh, mysterious and fascinating. But prosecutors raised questions about whether he had honestly answered a question about uh, having in the past been accused or convicted of a crime. Prosecutors said they found a news article about a man with the same name who had been arrested in the 1990s for tearing down political posters in the New York City suburbs. After a conference in court where the man was, was brought back to the courthouse to answer questions, uh, he was dismissed from the jury as well. Uh, adding to that, more drama in the courtroom. Prosecutors are again seeking to hold Donald Trump in contempt of court. They have cited seven social media posts that he has made since uh, the court began on Monday. Uh, that they want to add to a hearing next week where they seek to have Donald Trump fined at least $3,000 and possibly face additional sanctions. Also, the judge, in light of what has happened to these two jurors and identifying information, possibly getting out into the public, uh, he has ordered the media to stop reporting the specific names of potential jurors, employers, and previous employers. And since he made that order, uh, people who have been interviewed for the jury pool, uh, in the jury box, potential jurors, they have been talking about their employment in more generic terms, working in finance, in banking, as a lawyer, but not identifying which law firm or which bank.